Okay, what I've got here is a set of RC boat molds. Now they need some work done. Uh, this one, the transom needs fixed. But uh, also, over time, from grinding the edge to get the part out, what you can see is it's kind of working on some duck lift there. Okay, and this thing, it's got some damage back here and uh, I'd like to set this up a little different so I can do some resin infusion or vacuum bagging so I want to fill this hole in so that instead of trying to trim around there or tape around it I can just cut it out later I'm going to put a flange on here put a flange on that one and uh, it'll make the vacuum bagging a lot easier um, I also want to make a different deck that's got a bigger hole in it, so there's more room for a for a weed eater motor. As you can see, that hole it just ain't quite gonna fit in there. This one's more set up for more set up for the nitro outboards, an inboard nitro motor, or electric. You know, nice brushless motor, get this going pretty good. Um, lots of room out here for graphics. Um, it's a fairly good running hill, hull. Um, a friend of mine is the designer, and him and I did some trading. He's he built a lot of them. He'd like to have a few new ones, but he's kind of out of the out of the business of making them. He just wants to rig a few. Um, this isn't the only RC project going. I've got a couple smaller ones. I've got uh, this one, and it's about uh, almost two and a half feet long, 13 inches wide, and it can be for either electric or some kind of outboard or something. And uh, it's fairly deep. I'd have to. I have to get some tools out to figure out, show you how deep it is. Protractor right here, I can tell you. It's got some nice uh, dead rise. It's probably. Ooh, look at that. Maybe 24, 25 degrees, which is nice. That should cut through the wave nicely. Um, I've got a few things to fill on it, and then I'll shoot a layer of primer on it. And then uh, once I make the mold off it, I'll finish this side of the work. I've got some foam in here started. Just to make a deck so it looks like a regular boat. I've got a build up layer here. This is where a normal motor would go or the back seat or whatever. And then I've got the edges of them here that I'll work up. And then like an open bow seating area or a lounge area. And then I'll have a console here. But all the radio and stuff I'll probably put back here. And then they've got electric outboards. Maybe put an electric outboard on it or something like that. This should be a fun little boat. I mean, it won't cost a fortune. And uh, I can put some nice designs on it. And uh, have a lot of fun with that. I've also got... Oh, I've got one smaller, but I don't have it around here. I've also got one that I can't work on until I get rid of this big one out here. But it's seven and a half foot long. <laughs> and you'll like that. If you look in the one of the one of the videos it's got the music on my playlist um, it's it's a mo it's a movie it's like a slideshow of some finished finished boats there you'll see a quick shot of the of the hull for it it's seven and a half foot long and uh one weed eater motor probably isn't gonna make it go very fast, but two or three ought to make it go real good um Unless you could figure a way to put a jet ski motor in it, because it's probably about as big as a small jet ski. <laughs>
Anyway, I'm going to set this off as a separate project from the big boat, and I'll probably set each RC project off on their own. I've also got some uh, boat seats to make, and hood scoops, and various other little projects that occupy my time. Uh, kind of hard to work on them some days when you're working 14 hours a day, but I'll get to it eventually. Um, anyway, I'll keep you updated on these, and uh, hopefully I can sell a few and uh, make some money to keep them going. Anyway, that's all for now.